right, guys, welcome to the next section on reggae drumming. Now we're going to look at some new ways to play the hi-hat. We're going to be looking at barking the hi-hat and incorporating some different feels with the hi-hat instead of just a straight rhythm the whole time. Let's combine these because a lot of times in reggae, it's so much about feel. You might not get a consistent hi-hat uh, all the time. You might get something a little bit more interesting. And just for example, let me show you what I mean. So that's just totally improv, me messing around with different ideas, um, kind of all smushed together really quickly. But you get the idea. So a lot of these things have to do with feel, understanding these different rhythms with the hi-hat, and then being able to freely put them together in the music, whatever sounds right for the music. Also, little side note, this is on grooves, but just a little tip about playing some reggae fills. They don't need to be anything complex. And when you do a little kind of snare fill, instead of playing it in the middle, bring your stick all the way to the edge. It gets that nice high rim shot sound. Okay? You can also do ra, ra, reka, da, doom, pa. Now, I'm not crashing on the one, I'm actually doing the hit right before the one. Okay, because remember, one drop, ra, ra, reka, da, doom, oh, a two, a three. Okay, now the other thing I want to talk about is we're going to be playing the three instead of uh, like in the last lessons we were playing one, two, three, four, right? So we're counting a little bit faster in, this, in these grooves. We want to play the cross stick and the kick on three, okay? So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, which is another common way that you'll hear the reggae counted out. So let's look at the hi-hat pattern, okay? So cross stick and kick on three only. Everything right here is about the hi-hat. So we're playing these eighth note triplets spaced. Uh, we have this kind of spaced idea going over into the second bar line. So here's what it sounds like. Now notice, you have that triplet that's happening, first and third triplet of these, this shuffle. It's basically you're playing a shuffle, the first and third triplet, right? But then, in the second measure, instead of playing the first triplet, you're playing the middle triplet, okay? So you go from the end of the last measure, you're playing the last triplet. Then you're skipping that next triplet, which is usually played. You're playing the middle triplet, skipping the last triplet, playing the first triplet, but playing that as a quarter note. So it's taking up a longer delay there. And then the next note, you're gonna be hitting on the three. So that's what gives it that spaced feel. Now this is a really popular sound in reggae music. So you wanna be able to get this one dialed in. Let's play it together 120 BPM, okay? Super great feel. Take your time with that one. If you need to play it a lot slower, dial the tempo down. There is no need to keep up with me. I'm just giving you the demonstration. You can try this at 80 BPM, but playing it to a click is gonna help you get that timing down. So make sure you do. Now, the next groove we're gonna look at 
is instead of this space triplet idea where we're gonna be resting, we're gonna be adding in more notes. And now at the start of the second measure, we're gonna be playing just a string of the eighth note triplets all together. So one and a two are all gonna be played instead of skipping the middle triplet. So you're playing that shuffle style, da 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 right? So follow along with the sheet music. Notice we're opening the hi-hat as well on the very last triplet of measure one. So right before that string of notes, it says da 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 Open on the uh of four, close the hi-hat on the start of the one on the next measure. Here's what that looks like. All right, that's the feel. It's a great one, I love one. One of my favorite hi-hat licks to play in reggae. Great hi-hat lick, great feel for reggae music. Let's play it to the click now, 120 BPM. All right, guys, let's look at the last groove here. Now we're just gonna be starting it off with the triplet lick. And then you got the spaced happening, those spaced notes happening on the second measure. So now we're just combining both of them together. So nice and slow. Now notice I'm still doing that open hi-hat. It's on the very last note of measure two before you restart. So let's play it up to speed all together. All right, guys, and that's gonna do it for three more variations that you can use with the hi-hat in getting musical reggae grooves and building that reggae vocabulary on the drums. And definitely take some time to practice some reggae music to really get these dialed in. There's nothing like playing when the other instruments are there with you, and that really gets the feel going. All right, guys, thanks for sticking with me through the lesson. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.